When Chinese tech manufacturer Blitzwolf got in touch with me not too long ago to review their products, I initially considered declining. After all, Makers Muse is primarily a channel about 3D printing and makers. However, it is also about tinkering. And after years of building combat robots, for years, I learned to view products not for what their intended function was, but rather what I could turn them into by hacking them apart to do my bidding. So I looked through their product line and selected a battery powered LED lamp, a VR goggle set, and finally an LED projector. And quite frankly, to my surprise, they sent all of them. So in today's video, we'll be checking out the Blitzwolf Mini Portable LED Projector. It's so cute. So this projector will set you back $89 US delivered. Crazy. It came well packaged and they even threw in a mains power adapter because they didn't have an Australian mains cable version, which is very nice of them. The unit itself feels sturdy enough, but it's certainly a budget tech product. The lens is a good chunk of glass and overall the soft touch finish makes it easy to carry around without worrying too much about it slipping out of your hands. So why did I want a projector? Well, you see, when the Olo campaign was on Kickstarter, I did a bit of research into the supposed technology it was using, daylight cure resins, and how they could be used and cured with a smartphone. Normally, DLP resin systems need high powered projectors for their UV curable resins, but I thought what if I could make a hybrid system using a smaller LED projector and this stuff. This is Photocentric's Daylight Cure Resin. So I dubbed this project YOLO in one of my streams and the idea has been bubbling along ever since. But before I can start ripping apart this projector, we need to make sure it functions as intended. So what better way to test than Slime Rancher? I plugged the projector in and Slime Rancher looked okay, but certainly not as sharp as it could have running off my Surface Pro 3. Where's my supposed 1080p as advertised on the Banggood listing? Well, on the desktop, it was being fed a 1080p signal, but something wasn't adding up. And there it is. The native resolution is 800 by 480 pixels, confirmed by measuring the pixels roughly with my ruler against the projected screen. This is a pretty classic trick with cheap projectors to make them seem higher res than they actually are. And people usually assume that projectors are just more fuzzy than TVs. And that's only the case if they're not focused correctly. I can't really blame Blitzwolf here. Their own website specifies the resolution correctly. It's just the Banggood listing which sneaks the erroneous 1080p into the title. So once I started feeding it a proper 480p signal, everything started looking more crisp, albeit pixelated because it's not a very high resolution. DLP stands for direct light projection and is a 3D printing technique where UV or daylight sensitive resins are cured from a screen layer by layer using a series of images or in this case using a projector to project those images onto a layer of resin. It's another form of slicing and looks like this mock-up with black and a white cross section of the object you're creating. The Blitzwolf projector seems to handle these pretty well, but sadly, this is the smallest image I could get while it was still in focus. So it looks like I'll have to hack the lens assembly to get a smaller and tighter projection, but that's not something I'm afraid of doing. The unit itself is certainly not silent with a fairly powerful cooling fan, but it's not any worse than a regular computer system's cooling fans, so it's not gonna be too bad in regular use. Brightness was decent enough, though you wouldn't wanna use it in any room with sunlight leaking in, and it certainly can't compete. The 1200 lumen rating is also probably a little bit enthusiastic. I also briefly investigated the Wi-Fi streamcasting function, and while I did get it to function, the app was horrible ads put a bloatware, and I encountered buffering issues with 1080p 60 frame per second video off my iPhone 6. It's a feature I personally would never use anyway, so I wouldn't really recommend using it for this. Overall, I am pleasantly surprised with how far these cheap projectors have come. For a party or something, I reckon it'd be the ticket in, if you want some sort of fancy projection, but you don't want to worry about it getting stolen or someone spilling their beer on it. Sure, the image is terrible compared to modern home cinema projectors, but the cost, I mean, this is under $100 delivered. I can also see these being really popular for art installations and cool interactive experiments like backlit interactive tabletop displays, something I've personally wanted to make for many years. So a big thanks to Blitzful for sending me this projector randomly to review and eventually tear apart for my 3D printing projects. If you want to grab one, you can find the link in the video description. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to track the progress of my various mad tinkering projects, reviews, tips, and tricks in the world of 3D printing. 
And if you would like to support the channel, we have our Patreon as well as Amazon affiliate links where we get a small kickback every time you buy something like 3D printing filament or a 3D printer or whatever. All the info is in the video description. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you again very shortly here on Maker's Muse. Catch you later.